How's everybody doing? This is Atomic Anatomy, and I've always had a curiosity for figuring out what was inside things and how they worked. So this platform will be all about showcasing just that. For this episode, we'll be seeing the anatomy of the jewel and also learn some interesting facts about the weirdest USB drive I've ever seen. Also, since I don't make the rules, just follow them, you gotta be 18 plus to watch. So with that, just sit back and enjoy. You ever shot a gun before, homie? I just did. Literally five minutes ago. Get rid of it! No way, it's awesome! Watch this! I'm not good at the football part. You're cheating. No, I'm not. It's vapor. Still. You should try it. Addiction without the consequences. So, Jewel Labs was founded in 2015. 2015? Out of Pax Labs. As of now, Jewel accounts for over 70% of the US e cigarette market and now is worth $38 billion. This valuation has skyrocketed mainly because of the $12.8 billion investment from Marlboro cigarette maker Altria, but also because of the level of popularity it has had from the media, hence the reason I'm making this video and team use. The Jewel also beats out most competition because it is concealable, shareable, and distributable. The Jewel today is everything old vapes were not. This is because of the design of the device. It's slick, portable, low maintenance, and easy to use. So the complete package for a Jewel is broken up into three main parts, being the device itself, the pod, and the USB charger. The device itself is broken up into eight different pieces. We got the atomized aluminum casing, the little LED circle diffuser, the 3.7 volt 200 milliamp hour lithium ion battery, the PIC board or the peripheral interface controller board, the magnet to securely hold on to the USB charger, the wiring ribbon which has a charging port and two prongs to heat up the pod as well as a connector for the circuit board, the rubber casing on top of the two prongs and the plastic skeleton for holding all the components. The pod is also broken up into eight pieces. We got the pod cover, which is not shown in this video, the tank shell, the coil and wick, two gold plated contacts, the chimney, the rubber gasket, and the mouthpiece. Also forgot to mention the most important part being the nicotine juice, which is comprised of glycerol, used for making explosives and antifreeze, propylene glycol, another component in antifreeze, additional flavors depending on which kind you get, nicotine of course, and benzoic acid found in tobacco plants. The charger is broken up into five pieces. We got the male USB adapter with the PCB board to connect to the prongs for charging. We got a magnet for holding the device. We got the USB cover and we got the top and bottom plastic casing. So there we have it, the Jewel in all its guts and glory. This device makes for a pretty top-notch device and has many sophisticated features on it, along with having well-valued quality, functionality, price, popularity, and design, making it ranked as a 8.1 out of 10 gadget. Let me know what you guys think also in the comments below. Since this is the first video of the channel, I'm hoping to get any feedback at all about this video or channel. So let me know if you hate it or love it. Also, provide me some ideas for what else to take apart for future episodes. And speaking of future episodes... Don't even think about it. Well, this is going to be awkward. See you guys on the next one. Atomic, over and out. Sweet.